Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Storytime at the Graves Library. I'm Miss Lynn, and I'm here today to read you a, a story about riding a bike. I thought it would be nicer weather, but maybe if the sun comes out this weekend, there might be an opportunity to ride your bike. Uh, so let's get started. Hands together. And here we go. Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together at Graves Library. Your friends are my friends. My friends are your friends. Here we are together at Graves Library. Welcome. As always, it's just delightful to see all of you here and to hear those wonderful singing voices. All right. So let's get cozy and comfy. I'm going to adjust my seat a little bit and talk to you today about an author and illustrator that's one of my favorites. His name is Chris Roshka. He lives in New York City and he does illustrations and writes the text for several books. This one that we're going to read today is called Everyone Can Learn to Ride a Bicycle. But before we get to that, I wanted to share another of his wonderful stories. And maybe someone has already read this book, A Ball for Daisy. This is Daisy, and this is her red ball. Let me show you the back cover. Look at that face. Maybe some of you have a dog that you just love and love throwing a ball for. Chris Roshka is someone that I met several years ago when I was out on Peaks Island, he was doing an artist workshop and demonstrated to the group that was there how he drew his wonderful illustrations. He uses watercolor paints in big, bold brush strokes. He works on big pieces of paper. And I love how fun and simple they are. And there's Daisy and her red ball. Mr. Rashka won an award for this book for these illustrations. It's called the Caldecott Honor Book. And he was quite honored to receive that honor when I saw him. He was quite pleased with that. All right, so let's get to our story of the day. Again, the title is Everyone Can Learn to Ride a Bike, written and illustrated by Chris Rashka. Let me just do a peek inside for the publisher who put together this beautiful book and give them a shout out. It is Schwartz Wade Books of New York City. Thank you to them for this fun book that we are about to read. I know you know me well enough now to say, oh, show me the back cover, Miss Lynn. Look at this. This is the back cover and it says, you can. Yes, you can. Of course you can. Yes, why couldn't you? Yes, you can. What do you think he's referring to here? Mm-hmm. Anyone can ride a bicycle. And yes, you can. So we're about to see this little girl as she's learning to ride a bicycle. She's got her helmet on. And there's her bike. Okay. Here's our beautiful title page where again we have the title, Everyone Can Learn to Ride a Bike. I just love the colors of her bicycle. I wonder what color bike you all, bikes you all have. Some of you have blue. Anyone else? Maybe red or pink. My bike is dark green. Okay. Ready? Okay, here we go. Want to learn to ride a bicycle? Hmm. I wonder who that is. Who do you think that man is? Maybe her father? Maybe her grandfather? Maybe an uncle? Let's see. First, you need to choose the perfect bike for you. First, you need to choose the perfect bike for you. Maybe you see one on this page that you would love to have. This one's pretty spiffy with that orange seat. <laughs> okay. 
I wonder what she's going to choose. Let's go. I want to find the perfect bike. Someone's holding his head over there. Oh, maybe it's taking her a long time to choose, but that's okay. It does take some time to choose the perfect bike for you. Watch everyone ride. They all learned how. There we go. Maybe some of you are learning to ride. Maybe some of you haven't yet gotten on a bicycle. When you do, it's the greatest feeling. Look at all these people riding. Okay, come on, let's give it a try. Training wheels are helpful. They keep you from tipping over. See how she has that extra set of wheels? Those are called training wheels and they keep her balanced so she doesn't tip. She's just learning to ride a bike and sometimes it's a little tricky when you're trying to do it on just two wheels. But she has training wheels and she feels confident that she can ride this bike. If we raise up the training wheels just a smidge, you'll begin to feel your balance. So it looks like, I'm going to call him her grandfather, her, it looks like her grandfather has taken the training wheels and lifted them up just a little bit so they aren't on the road. That they're just there to give her little security, peace of mind, so she can get started and really pump those pedals. Now we take them completely off. Whew. That's a bit scary. She's thinking about that. She's thinking. Still feels a little bit scary. But try it. Go ahead and try it. Try riding in the grass. Hmm. Little too hard to pedal. Maybe down a small hill. Whoa, look at her face. Do you think that was the best decision? Probably not. She's trying to think it all through. Oh dear. She took a tumble. It's a good thing she had her helmet on. <sighs> Grandpa now says, I'll hold on. I wonder what he's thinking. I wonder what he's thinking. Let's see what that means. I'll hold on. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Pump your legs. Look at Grandpa's holding on to the seat. He's running right behind her. Pump your legs. And now he's letting go. She's looking back and she's off and riding her bike. What an accomplishment. That's three cheers to her. That's a big deal. Oops. You almost had it. She took a little tumble. So did the bike, but they're both okay. Don't give up. You'll get it. And you all will too, if some of you don't yet know how to ride a bike. You'll get it. Find the courage to try again and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Find that courage. You can do it. She's doing it. She's even taking some tumbles, but she's still doing it. By luck, grace, and determination, you are riding. Look at her go. She's bending right over the handlebars. I can do this. 
She is determined. Are there some things that you do that you are very determined to try, try again? Me too. And now she can ride a bicycle. There she goes. Pumping her legs. Making that bicycle go. And now you will never forget how. Bravo! She did it. I'm going to give her a three cheers. Absolutely wonderful that she learned how to ride that spectacular bike. All right, so our craft this week, can you guess? <laughs> You're right. It's a bicycle. Not a real bicycle, but a paper bicycle that I have left the parts to down on the Graves Library porch. You'll find baggies that have two circle shapes, a large red triangle, and a small red triangle. You will probably need an adult to help you because you will want to use a glue stick to glue your shapes on the piece of paper. And you'll probably want a marker or a crayon to do the highlights that I have done to show the handlebars, oh, and how these lines here attach to the wheels so that we can have a bicycle. And then you can do anything else you'd like to do. Maybe you want to put your name on this wonderful bicycle that you've put together. Give it to a friend. Give it to your big sister or big brother. Or maybe hang it on the refrigerator. I love to put special artwork on my refrigerator. So here's your craft for the week. Happy bicycling once this rain goes away. And three cheers to learning how to ride a bicycle. Thank you for joining me, everyone. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye for now.